is up welcome to our christmas home decor tour super excited christmas is our favorite time of the year so really want to share with you but before we get started you know the drill get comfy get cozy grab your favorite drinks your favorite snack and while you're at it if you're not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell so you never miss a video so the first stop on the tour will be the kitchen table and this is the centerpiece for the kitchen if you saw my thanksgiving home decor tour you know i love that little wooden pedestal love rustic things so we kept in theme for christmas we just changed out a few things so to the left you see a sparkly beautiful christmas tree if you saw my tj maxx haul you would have seen this i thought it would be perfect for the kitchen table it's just small enough has that rustic glam look that i'm always looking for also if you saw our disney gift guide for her video you'd have seen this beautiful little minnie mouse cup she looks so cute on a little stand and then like the thanksgiving home decor tour i kept the gold mason jar i just added some poinsettias and some little golden berries and twigs and i got this from michael's cute sweet and not too much next stop is the island i love having something festive on our island and this little gingerbread house had to come home with me if you saw the tj maxx home haul uh, you would have saw this little gingerbread house would be so cute i don't keep cookies in it. i have a little keurig pods you see my keurig in the background with my little chip cup and, and harry potter owl uh, but this is the cutest thing it was the very first thing i picked up that kind of helped the whole thing and then i had to get this little gingerbread man use him to put like hot utensils things i used to cook with but it just makes for a little cute little display in our kitchen love it next stop on the tour is our foyer you know we had to have a countdown calendar since we love christmas so it's 21 days till christmas right now um what i did was if you saw that haul tj maxx haul that i did i picked up those poinsettias at like seven dollars each from home depot and then i got a tablecloth the buffalo print tablecloth from amazon and i cut it up and you'll see uh, other poinsettias around the house but I cut it up and wrapped it with this gold rope and you can see the detail from the rope very gold very glam and also our little sing and dance Rudolph had to make his little appearance on the table and he's just so cute just the perfect little greeter carrying the buffalo print theme with the decorative pillow as well as I added like an oversized pillow ornament I got from Hobby Lobby next to it is a merry christmas pillow that has buffalo print a little hack to saving money on pillows this is a pillow i already owned i just bought a pillow cover from amazon it was like eight dollars just to change out the decor so it's the same exact pillow i had for thanksgiving i just changed out the pillow cover and what has to be one of my favorite decorations is a giant elf on the shelf that i got in my tj maxx haul and we just put him on the stairs like he's sliding down and would you look at the glittery sparkly goodness this is my dining room table i had to make it super special this year i already had these light up presents from last year but i picked up this cone sequence pearl tree from tj maxx you saw that in my haul and then from the thanksgiving video i just kept the pine cones that had glitter on them with the gold and it just added and made just the perfect effect in the background you see the poinsettias uh, like on the side table wrap them in that buffalo print and added the gold bow and on the side or the right side you see a picture of my family and mickey mouse keeps his little spot as he did for thanksgiving on this side table next to the tree i did something a little different this year i added a tray with some ornaments and my little glitter silver and gold deer i had last year if you saw the home decor thanksgiving video you would have met dorothy our beta fish and she's just chilling on the left i added another poinsettia to tie in that red buffalo print theme and then on the bottom to add interest, I just have a little 
wooden structure that I picked up from TJ Maxx and then also a little bird cage. And if you know any of my videos, you know there's always a star to the show. This is our Christmas tree, our main family Christmas tree. Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? Starting at the top, we have kind of this twig gold glitter explosion with a little star at the top. My son just had to have a little star at the top. He helped me decorate the Christmas tree. And then I carry over that burlap, that red and black burlap thing with these presents. Um, also these little burlap candy cane sticks. Sticks are the best. If you ever watch Angie Belmar, her Christmas tree decorating hacks are genius. She basically loves using sticks. So I took a page from her book and did that this year and my tree just literally transformed. Like you don't see a lot of bauble ornaments. It's just these ornaments that are really special. Like this little owl. He is glitter gold horrific. I got him from Walmart. Super cheap. But I love the owl theme with these white boas. If you saw my glam Christmas tree video, you'll see how I use feather boas to really fluff out and glam up your Christmas tree, especially artificial trees where you tend to see like the stick inside. These really help to hide it and just make your tree look really full without you using too many ornaments. So I just randomly stuck sticks. Like this little flower assortment is actually a one whole stick. Michaels usually has a whole bunch of these in the floor department. They're just sticks all together. It comes with the poinsettia, the little gold twigs, and you just stick them in the tree randomly and it really gives the tree some life. So coming down the tree, I picked up these little antlers you see to the far right from Michaels. Again, before the Christmas rush, I picked them up, but I'm sure they still have them. The little burlap star I got from Kirkland's. I picked up two of these little owl cloth. They're almost plushies, but they're ornaments from Walmart. I just thought they were actually beautiful and they were sewing theme with the red and the twee. They just really add some character and texture to the tree. One of my favorite additions to the tree this year were these elf feet sticks. It looks like there's an elf that just jumped in the tree trying to find something. If you don't know me, I'm all about whimsy. This makes me feel like a kid again. And this Merry Christmas ornament I picked from Kirkland's with the burlap. It just really wasn't themed, so you know I had to grab it. And then at the very bottom, I just took a wicker basket I had at home and filled it up with all the baubles I didn't use on the tree. And it really just adds to a tree that's bare before you put Christmas presents under it. And I added this red velvet tree skirt with a tablecloth from Amazon that had the burlap on it so I tried to tie the burlap in a way that wasn't too much but just hint so it really added to the whole theme of the tree and the entire house. I am very proud of my tree this year. I joke with my sister and say it took me 12 years to get the tree I always wanted and it's just absolutely beautiful. I love it! Now for my TV console, I really did it up this year. I created a winter wonderland in a jar with these faux trees and added some small gold baubles. And I used, believe it or not, kitchen salt to fill the bottom so it looked like snow. And then I so to the left, I have a copper lantern, which is absolutely beautiful. I have another one of those faux lights on a pedestal. Of course, my winter wonderland. This beautiful Ray Dunn candle, which smells amazing. And then to top it off, another copper lantern. The garland I picked up from Home Depot. Do not sleep on Home Depot at any kind of hardware stores. They always have great deals when it comes to decorations and I love this one. It came with the large oversized pine cones already in it and then I just added some cranberry twigs. Love my entertainment center this year. I'm gonna say that about everything. I love everything this year. And then what has to be another favorite corner of the house is the fireplace. I love this antique clock. It goes with every holiday. And I added something very new this year, which was those Santa feet coming out of the basket. Aren't these Santa feet absolutely adorable? I got them from Kirkland's on sale. They are just the cutest thing. And they just add, like I said, whimsy and magic to the whole decor.